Do you uh, have any thought on microwaves? Mm. You want to nuke the food? You I mean, it's like. Right. No, I've, we've, my wife and I have never used a microwave oven. Mm. No. Okay. Has anyone ever considered how microwaves work? I'll, I'll tell you a, a true story. In 1961, I was on a double date, and we went, the girl I was with, it wasn't her dad, but the girl we were picking up uh, in the car, her dad was a GE engineer, and the mother had a prototype microwave. And I'll never forget, it looked like, you know, a spacecraft. And we went, in, we went inside of the kitchen, and she said, watch this, and she put an an apple in the oven. Now, an apple normally took 30 minutes, 40 minutes to bake, and we all loved bacon. It was, it was the autumn, and it was crisp outside, and we just were, so, she put it in, and it took one minute. And all our little heads were at that window, and I don't think I've been the same since, you know, <laughs> watching that thing. <laughs> uh, but there are some studies that show that sterility is caused by microwaves and the leaking, and as they get cheaper, they become less uh, protected, and so there's a lot that you don't want. So you're actually scrambling the molecules. And when they hit each other, they heat up very rapidly and destroy the genetic structure of the biology that you're now cooking. And when you put that into your body, you're not going to tell me understanding chemistry the way I do and genetics the way I do, that that's not going to alter your DNA and RNA. Y what you're, about? Yeah. You're changing uh, all the uh, vitamins, minerals, and proteins and you're just changing how you alter them actually and um, cooking alters it too so that's why we want to eat everything raw if we can you know 80 20 raw 80 20 percent could be cooked but especially if i'm healthy it's okay 80 20 but the more raw i eat then i get the real protein as soon as i cook it as soon as i heat it over 115 Fahrenheit, I alter actually the, the composition and the protein. But I put it into a microwave oven, now I'm making a monster. It's a, that's, that's Frankenstein. You also order, <laughs> alter the water because it's the yes. water molecules that are flipping around. Yes. And the, the ordinary food contains this uh, fourth phase of crystalline-like water, but when you subject it to the microwave, we did some experiments, you lose all, all that. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Wow. And the Russians, uh, the, the Russians did some studies uh, years ago because they were concerned about health effects and the allowable levels of, of microwave radiation in the environment were much lower than in the U.S. I don't know if the U.S. has changed any, but the Russians were really concerned about that. And, and so, yeah, this is problematic. What type of deodorant should we use? Type of what? Deodorant. deodorant. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why people need deodorant. If you I, eat I, I well. Think, I think right. if you Most eat well, like you. No. but I think if people eat well and they're healthy, unless mm -hmm. they're sick, I think that if they shower, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I remember my father saying when I was, a, when I was like 12 or something, he says, why do we all have to wear deodorant? I didn't wear deodorant when I was a teenager <laughs> back in the 1930s, you know. Mm. But I think there are healthy, I mean, I don't know. I don't use deodorant, but I think there are healthy deodorants that just are, you know, oils and, you know, whatever, that have herbal scents and things. But you, you're, we're supposed to sweat. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to sweat. And if you block the parts of your body that are supposed to sweat, those toxins that are coming out actually stay in your body. So I think the yes. whole idea that we don't ever want to sweat, that's a terrible thing to do. We don't want people to know we sweat. Uh. I think that's, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's problematic. I, yeah. I urge people to watch that video, The Age of Aluminium. It's made in um, Germany. It's 49 minutes long. And they do go into the fact that some deodorants most deodorants, in fact, the mm -hmm. stick-type deodorants, contain an aluminium product. And uh, being cautious, I haven't used those products for 20-odd <laughs> years. You right. can get deodorants which mm. use pretty benign substances, not aluminum products. Mm. There, there is a scale you can get, and forgive me because I don't get on the Internet often, on the Internet that my daughters with their children use all the time that show you the toxicities of different products. Uh, you know, so, so it's safecosmetics.org. Safecosmetics.org. And so, you know, the good, news, the good news is today, no matter where you're listening to us, if you're in Asian countries, you can hit it and get pretty good translation too. So it's not just an English, you know, readers. 
So I would, you know, and, and it's stunning because I double-checked behind the two or three things she said, and it was spot on.